Customer expectations run really high, and uh, and they should. And really, you know, when when you move the decision making capability of an organization, when you move the top line growth of an organization to be dependent on any kind of technology, expectations are going to be high. I think Teradata's platform family is very good for the industry. It does allow a company to grow from a small beginning to a very large enterprise data warehouse. Or alternatively, if they have an enterprise data warehouse, they now have the ability to create smaller marts, practice areas if you will, or sandboxes in which they can prototype or they can build something, see if it works, and if it does, then stabilize it and bring it back into the enterprise data warehouse. So they've done a really remarkable job with the, with the 550, the 2500, and then finally the 5550 of allowing a company to grow its enterprise data warehouse as needed. I'm a big fan of the platform family and uh, I, I like it quite a bit and I think it's obviously very well planned out. The three stages that are there, they're set in a very good pattern so that a small company with small needs can embrace part of that solution and then once they're on that solution and once they're on that architecture, they have a way to move forward. And this is not a me too strategy, this is not a okay I need to have an appliance too. But we did realize that there may be easier entry points that appliances are appealing for. And we want to make sure that we make those entry points easy as well. What Teradata has done with its platform family is it's allowed them to come in at any point in the enterprise and solve any of the pain points that a company has. Maybe it really is a very small point solution that eventually should be brought into an enterprise data warehouse. But at this point, Teradata can at least have the conversation now with the company. That's probably the advantage of the way the family of solutions was structured is, is that it allows that migration path to grow as your challenges grow or it allows you to scale as you need to scale against um, your challenges. And all the time it's inside that, that good model infrastructure that Teradata brings to a problem. So it's, it's not a freewheeling sort of out from left field type solution, it's an integrated well thought out solution that works within the pattern that Teradata is very good at bringing to the market. The extended value proposition that we have is we can compete in that appliance space with our offer and then when the customer is ready to move to the second application, the third application, the fifth application, or to really get into some very um, dramatic business change, then they can simply migrate all of those applications up into the family of active enterprise intelligence platforms. I think it's going to open up the market for Teradata to serve more customers and I think also it's going to open up the market for Teradata to serve their existing customers differently than they've been able to in the past. Teradata has never lost its footing in terms of what it really is all about. It is about the enterprise data warehouse.